Good fam. How's everybody doing today? Good, because we're back with another video, you guys. Today, you guys, I was in the mood for some comfort food. So, yeah, I thought about smothered turkey wings because of the season, right? So, this is just a quick, simple, easy uh, slide in the oven recipe, oven bake recipe, you know. But, anywho, you guys, I had to bring it. I had to bring it. So come on in the kitchen. So guys, if you're uncomfortable with me, Creating my food without gloves. I'm gonna have to ask you to exit. But meantime, for those who want to stick around, what we're gonna do is we have some turkey wings, and we don't have anything in the pan with, it, right? Because what I'm gonna start off with doing is I'm gonna put me some extra virgin olive oil on it. You know, you guys. Some people use butter, some doesn't, and I just prefer olive oil right now I just want to get that right on in there because the way I'm gonna do this this is gonna be so terrific so I'm gonna start off with a little paprika because I need it for the color right we're just gonna put some over there paprika is not gonna hurt anything okay as I take I'm gonna take away as I add so I'm going to use a little garlic powder, right? Just a little. Because I really don't want to use the mince garlic. You know, the kids, you know. So you got to look out for the babies, right? Oh, the garlic smells so good. I hadn't cooked with it in a minute. But we got us some meat tenderizer. We got some meat tenderizer found. So we're going to put that meat tenderizer on there, right? Put it just like that. And get it on in there. Right. And as you see, you see that color coming in there. And we got us some soul food seasoning. Yes, we're going to sprinkle that on in there. Sprinkle it. And we're going to sprinkle some on our onions, right? Now. I definitely have to get the black pepper soon as I find. You know, every time I cook, I cannot find my seasoning. You know, it's something I'm always forgetting, right? So we're going to sprinkle us some black pepper on here. It's something I'm always forgetting, right? And you said, Miss T, why you got so much seasoning? Because Miss T got to pick up and she got to. Pick it in. She got a massage it, right? I'm gonna massage it right on in there. Just get on in there in the crevices. You know? Just go on and get in there and just massage it all around. Massage it all around. Because we want season to get all up in the meat. Mm. Especially this bone right here. I like that part. Mm -hmm. It just does something for me. Right, and let's get this one. Oh my goodness. Look at that season. And all that flavor that's going to be in there. And we're just going to keep massaging. We're going to keep massaging. Mm -hmm. Now we know it's seasoned all at the bottom. But that's okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get our onion. And we're going to massage them too. See that seasoning? Coming in there, and I only sprinkled a little over there. But well, we're just gonna go on here and poke it in. Get the onions over in here, just like that. Because I was in the mood for some comfort food, and I said, What is it that I didn't have in a long time, right? And some say, You know what? Get you some turkey. And you know, with this being a small family, you know, I just have to, you know, get it. Get in where I fit in, you know what I'm saying? You know, because 
These kids nowadays, they don't know what it is to eat like this. Because we grew up on it. At least I did. Comment in, you know, make a comment. Let me know if you grew up on it. You know, your mom cooking in the kitchen or you're watching your grandma. And, you know, you just, just enjoy watching them create their good eats. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're going to leave that just like that. We're going to get the onion up right here because it's my kitchen and I can do that. Okay? So, yeah. You guys, let me wash my hands. So, guys, so our next step is we're going to get us some water in this corner. We don't want to drown it, but we want enough water to surface that corner, the corners, right? And we're just going to put some aluminum foil over it, just like that. And we're going to slide it in on 375. I'm going to slide it in on 375, let it cook approximately 45 minutes to an hour and see what it comes out. And then I'm going to put put it up a little higher so I can get a nice golden brown on it. So, okay, fam. So, what I'm doing here is I'm going to make some more of those swim biscuits. Uh-oh. If, if I don't spill it, it's not me. Okay. So, I have another one pint of heavy whipping cream and I also have the two cups of surprising flour now only difference is <clears throat> as you guys if you saw that video I use uh, I use uh, a larger pan so my biscuits was good they were they were and I'm going for a big, a, a bigger texture now. So I'm, and I use a half a stick of butter because of the size of the pan that I'm using. So let me mix this on up. Okay, so we have mixed this up. And I'm just waiting on my... I'm just waiting on my butter to melt, finish melting, so that's what we have and that's what's going on right now. So you guys, like I said, those biscuits were so delicious, so I want to put it with this meal. So guys, we're going to use the smaller pan that I have for these swim biscuits. And we're just going to go on and put it right on in here. Just like that. And we're just going to smooth it out. Okay, so we got it in there. And I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to go in here and just put some lines in there without going too deep. You know, without going too deep. And we're just going to give us a cut of these biscuits. Head at the bottom, but it's okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bake this. I really want to. Well, let's see where it goes. It sinked on down, so it's good. So, yeah, we're gonna let these go ahead and bake for approximately 12 to maybe 15 minutes, and we're gonna see how those turn out. Oh, you guys, 
Did you see it? Okay, there you go. Let's get you a close-up. Because like I said, you guys, the first attempt, I used the bigger pan. And this time I'm using a smaller pan because I want more of a dinner biscuit. And that's how I looked at that video. I wanted to make it into a breakfast biscuit. And you said, well, what's the difference? Well, to me, the thinner the biscuit, especially if you're not trying to make a sandwich with it, you know. I just slid that in the oven. I made sure that uh, I got it on between 375 and 400. I don't want to go over that amount, but let's see what it comes out to be. So, fam, we have our turkey ready you guys so I'm just gonna add me some turkey gravy some roasted turkey gravy you guys uh oh this is not gonna open well just hit it at the bottom you guys so we already have some juice down in here and we're just gonna keep it right in there and we're gonna put up some Gravy right over in here. Now I'm going to use a second jar. Just like that. I'm going to put a little water in this, this jar. And I'm going to get the last of it. Last of it out. I'm going to season it up by gravy. We're going to start off with a little parsley, right? Going to add us a little parsley. We're going to add us a little black pepper because we want flavor on this. Now this is something simple you can do. And we're going to add a little garlic powder. And that is it, okay? That is it. Because keep in mind, we didn't already season our meat and things, right? So now I'm going to just stir this gravy on in here. Let it mix and mingle. Just like that with the onions and, you know, all that goodness down in there. We're gonna turn our meat over, get the gravy right up in there. Let's turn this meat over just like that. That meat tender. Okay, now you guys, if this is your first time viewing me, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna swap because we're gonna get it right on over in here. Mm-hmm. Just like that just like that because this gravy is gonna get really in it into this meat you guys into this meat uh oh you see how tender that meat is and it's just a quick way that I do it you know many others do it as well but you guys we're gonna add us a little more water and I'm just gonna pour this over in here just like that and we're gonna slide this back into the oven you guys back into the oven and that is it on here so there you have it you guys we have some delicious smothered turkey Delicious comfort food, you guys. 